All right, man. Welcome back to another video, man. With your boy watching it with Vince. Yeah, I say welcome back to another video. We're watching it with Vince. Where you know where we at, and you know that we get lit, and you know we ain't capping. Listen, bro. I was scrolling right because I just reacted to this video, man. I was scrolling, and I seen this. And it said, no lives matter. So I'm thinking, I'm like, what is bro talking about? Like, is you good? Like, you mad wildin' right now, yo. Like, your title is mad bugging right now, yo. Like, what do you mean, no lives matter? Because, bro, like, it, bro, no racism type stuff? But, like, it's a white dude with a bunch of tattoos, bro. You look retarded. So I'm just going to have to go ahead and get into this video and see what he talking about to see if there's a meaning behind this or not. Because when I was looking at it, I ain't going to hold y'all. Nah, know what I'm saying? It felt a little bit of racist to me, you feel me? Because he said no lives matter. I don't know if you on some demon time or what. But you're going to have to chill out that out, you hear me? Because uh, that ain't sliding over here. But we finna go ahead and see if you got a little meeting behind this or something, man. So thank you for tuning in one more time. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. And turn on them post notices and blow up the comment section you did. Let's see what you're talking about. Hip hop diet is full of guys who cannot even rap. Facts. Media dividing us by colors white. I see all these Facts. tattoos. You bro, believe look in Jesus dude. these days, Christians get attacked. Facts. If you don't hate police, then everybody thinks you're whack. And everything's so connected. Black Lives Matter got so aggressive. White folks who agree can't support the message. Both sides go to war because they don't respect it. Our social climate from the global tension turned to total violence and a whole depression. We can unify and then I'll go against them, but we let them divide us with votes and elections. Hey, the music we bump. All about shooting guns and doing drugs. Hey, whoa. The things that we want are promoted subliminally through the songs. Like, you need a fast car. You need designer clothes. You need a rap star to tell you to start popping pills at the blunt and go live at the club to your bro. It's all controlled by the elites. Put fake news all over our screens. Convincing the right to go fight with the left and distract from the fact it's each other we need. Uh, divided by race and religion. Segregated into teams. Uh, you a white. Okay, I. Uh 57 seconds, 56 seconds in, I kind of see where he coming from, you feel me? He's basically saying, like, we let all these things get in between us and separate us, basically black and whites, browns, and all that. So that's that's what I'm getting right now, you feel me? That's what, I, that's what I'm visualizing and hearing. White supremacist, if you're not, I guess you Antifa. Screaming from the rooftops, beat down better. Turn us on each other now. Freedom's dead if you have an opinion, take it back. Facts. People hate the president, if you don't, then you trash. Facts. Indoctrinate the nation using news and mainstream rap. Facts. The government abuses us, it's all part of the plan. Facts. And it's so confusing. Black Lives Matter is a valuable movement, but all lives matter ain't racist or stupid. It's non black humans who don't feel included. All colors fall under laws to govern the whole country, and we all suffer. We're all broken, nobody recovers until we accept that we're all brothers. Hey, the music we make. All about big booties and getting paid. Hey, whoa. We watch the news and it fills up our brain. Okay. I see where he coming from. You feel me? He's like, he's basically naming like all the things that's wrong in society today. Well, rappers rapping about big booty chicks, drugs, money, sex, all that, bro. I get where you coming from. I understand now. But the title just got me, bro. With violence and riots and race, like this is a race war. You need to hate more. Get what you came for. You need some songs about Xanax and violence so you can escape more. What a vicious cycle we can break away from. They control the culture, they control the paper. They're indoctrinating a whole generation till the patriots start to hate the nation. The music we love make us dumb and addicted. The news that we watch is brainwashing the children. The viruses, riots, and racist conditions ain't problems. There's hey. symptoms of life in the system. Wait, they too again. Screaming from the rooftops. Hey, I ain't gonna hold y'all. I'm not a big fan of the song, but I get the message. You feel me? Like I understand the message and what he's saying, but like he got a flow when he when he's spitting fast, he got a flow. But like his um, like I'm not feeling the song, but I understand the message. You feel me? That's the that's the main part. Make you dumb. The media makes you hate, and they control them both. 
There ain't no escape. They put the world in a state of chaos. Economy crashing and massive layoffs. Black against white or it's left versus right. Divide and conquer and control is the payoff. Screaming from the rooftops, beat down better. Turn us on each other now, no lives matter. If we do what the news wants, blood gon' splatter. Turn us on each other till no lives matter. All right, bro. So that's the end of this video, man. Tom McDonald. No lies matter. You feel me? In the beginning, the title caught me off guard, bro. I ain't gonna hold y'all. But after listening to the song, I get what he's saying. I understand the message that he's trying to portray. You feel me? So, you feel me? Hey, he doing this thing. He getting, he getting bread. You feel me? So, shout out to him. Tom McDonald. You feel me? That's the end of this video, man. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. And blow